Good morning, everyone. I'm Greg Melchin, the chair of NMAX board. We're pleased to welcome you to NMAX's annual shareholder meeting. The City of Calgary Council, as NMAX's shareholder, the NMAX board of directors, and the NMAX executive team are all joining us remotely today. And I want to thank everyone for adapting to this virtual format in light of Alberta's ongoing public health and safety requirements in response to COVID-19. Our annual meeting is an opportunity to address annual governance requirements and share an update with, on NMAX's operation with the City of Calgary Council and all Calgarians. We will have time at the end of four questions for members of the public, which can be submitted using the Q&A functionality to the right of your viewing screen. We will hold a separate conference call for members of the media following the event. Our session today has two parts, our formal annual meeting followed by a brief report from our president and CEO, Gianna Manis, on NMAX's operations and performance, including how we continue to provide essential energy services and customer support through the COVID-19 pandemic. I would like to welcome City Council members as shareholder of NMAX. Present with us today are Mayor Nahed Nenshi, Councillor Joe Maglioka, Councillor Jody Gondek, Councillor Sean Chu, Councillor George Chahal, Councillor Jeff Davison, Councillor Drew Farrell, Councillor Evan Woolley, Councillor Ray Jones, Councillor Jeremy Farkas, Councillor Shane Keating, Councillor Diane Collier-Cart, and Councillor Peter DeMont. I would also like to welcome NMAX board members, Gianna Manis, Neil Camarda, Laura Formosa, Eric Markell, Elise Reese, Charles Rugrock, Kathleen Sendel, and Richard Shaw. 2020 marks a year of board transition and renewal for NMAX. Firstly, our long standing director, Neil Camarda, is retiring and will not be standing for re election this year. Neil has served since 2011 and brought a depth of experience in project management, infrastructure, environmental practices, risk management, just to name a few. He's been a great pleasure working with Neil, and on behalf of NMAX, I would like to extend my deepest, deepest gratitude to him for his years of service. In our planned board retirement and renewal, we completed a comprehensive search for board, new board members. <clears throat> I would like to welcome the two new director candidates resulting from this process, who will be put forward to the shareholder for election to the board during today's proceedings, William Taylor and Bruce Williamson. The profiles of these two director candidates are found up at page 97 of the AGM materials we prepared for the members of City Council and pending appointment today will be available on the NMAX website. Both Bill and Bruce will be excellent additions to the NMAX board. They bring extensive experience in the energy and electricity utility sector. On the topic of transition, NMAX's president and CEO, Gianna Manis, will be departly, departing shortly after her successful eight years of leadership of NMAX. Gianna's expertise, foresight, and integrity have been hallmarks of her leadership throughout her tenure. Since joining us in 2012, she's navigated NMAX through an unprecedented time of transformation and change, establishing a progressive culture, establishing uh, marked by community and safety, uh, customer service and excellence in operation and everything that she's ever done. Gian has been a great agent of change. She led us through many important milestones in establishing NMAX as an industry leader. Most recently, Janet left uh, or led NMAX through an acquisition of Amer Maine, now named Person Power. It marks a very significant step forward in our strategy to grow the company through increased investment in regulated assets. And now during the COVID pandemic, as she's always done through most uh, crises, Giannis has led us through company through difficult time, implementing a range of health and safety practices that protect our essential workers, support our customer, and ensure we continue to reliably serve our customers and communities. On behalf of NMAX, on behalf of all Calgarians, I would like to thank Gianna for exemplary service and dedication. She's been a remarkable leader. She'll be truly missed. The foresight in advancing our organization enables to, to move forward on a legacy of successful growth and positions us in a great spot for the future. Following Gianna's announcement departure at our AGM last year, our board initiated an extensive North American CEO search. Earlier this week, we announced the appointment of NMAX's next president and CEO. 
I'm excited to welcome Wayne O'Connor to the role of NMAX as President and Chief Executive Officer effective June 22nd. Wayne comes to NMAX with over 30 years of industry ex expertise and leadership, spanning multiple Canadian and North American electricity and energy markets. As we prepare for his arrival, I'm confident that Wayne's decades of experience and expertise will ensure NMAX continues to advance its long-term strategy and build on its leadership position within our industry. His people-focused leadership approach and dedication to creating value is well aligned with our mission and commitments to our shareholder, customers, communities, our talented employees and valued stakeholders in Alberta and Maine. And we also shared this week to support our upcoming CEO transition. Gianna has agreed to extend her tenure and will be serving in her current role until Wayne arrives in June and remaining on our board until the end of July 2020. While Wayne will not be joining us formally until June 22nd, he is attending today's AGM as our guest. And I'd like to welcome Wayne to say a few words for us at this time. Thank you, Greg. Hello, everyone. I really appreciate the chance to be part of today's proceeding and look forward to meeting everyone soon when I join in June. I wanna take this opportunity to share my excitement in joining NMAX, and I'm privileged to become the president and CEO of this remarkable organization. I see the many accomplishments that the team has made under Gianna's leadership and in partnership with NMAX board and in support of its shareholder, the city of Calgary. I'm excited to move forward in continuing to advance NMAX strategy and commitments with a view to the future. I appreciate the shared values we hold in serving customers and contributing to the resiliency of our communities, and it will be an honor to be part of MMAX next chapter. Thank you. Thank you, Wayne, and we are looking forward to you joining us on June 22nd. Wayne won't be available today to answer any questions, but looks forward to meeting with you later in June. To start, I'd like to introduce our executive team. Gianna Manis, President and CEO, along with Lonnie Enns, Senior Vice President of Power Supply, James McKee, Executive Vice President of Energy Services, Jana Mosley, Senior Vice President of Power Delivery, Diana Stevenson, Vice President of Public Affairs, Helen Wesley, Executive Vice President of Finance, Information Technology and CFO, Brandi Yarish, Senior Vice President of People, Safety and Culture and Chief Human Resources Officer, Erica Young, Executive Vice President Regulatory and Chief Legal Officer. We will now conduct our annual shareholder meeting. We have three items to bring forward to our shareholder. Due to the virtual setting of our annual shareholder meeting, we will conduct voting differently this year. I will provide an overview of the official matters of business before members of council. Mayor Nenshi will then call on each member of council to state how they vote on all three matters. Mayor Nenshi, a shareholder representative, will then cast the final votes. As chair, I'm now calling the formal annual shareholder meeting to order. Members of council, there are three formal matters of business to be presented today as follows. Receipt of NMAX's 2019 audited financial statements, the election of our board of directors, and the appointment of our auditor for 2020. I appreciate council and thank them for their continuous demonstrated commitment to ensuring that our organization is guided well on behalf of the citizens of Calgary. Over the last year and into 2020, we regularly met to share informa information on NMAX's performance, operations, investments, and outlook. I want to acknowledge the guidance and support that we've received from Council over this past year and really over the years. I would now like to invite Mayor Nancy to say a few words. Great. Thanks uh, so much, Greg, for that introduction. And normally, at this time, we talk about the great work that the women and men of NMAX do for the city every day. And I'll just briefly highlight that the city wouldn't work if we didn't have access to safe, clean, green, reliable electricity every minute of every day. And certainly the women and men of NMAX do an extraordinary job in ensuring that we have that every day. But of course, we are in extraordinary times. The world has changed in a way none of us anticipated and none of us expected. And NMAX has been there. As more of us work from home, as we rely even more on our connections to the world in so many ways, none of that works without NMAX. It is truly an essential service. And I know that uh, 
the folks who go to work at NMAX every day, their kids are out of school. They've got the same challenges that everyone else yet that everyone else has. Yet they manage to go to work every single day and make sure to continue the extraordinary tradition of service of this organization. So my first thank you is to all of them. My second thank you is to our friend Neil Kamartra. Finally, uh, nine years. I feel like you just joined the board a couple years ago, Neil, but you have been an extraordinary leader on this board uh, and bringing us so much uh, through all of this. So thank you for all of your service to this organization. And a preemptive thank you to Wayne O'Connor. I can't wait to meet you uh, in person, not just on the screen. And I know that the search committee has spoken so highly of your passion for the industry, of the social good that we have to do uh, together as, a, as an organization owned by the public. And I cannot wait uh, to see what you bring to this role. But with all due respect to everyone else, my biggest thank you for today is to Gianna Manis. You know, in my job, uh, I work with a lot of senior executives. We have seven wholly owned subsidiaries and seven CEOs, and I learn a lot from every single one of them. But I got to tell you, Gianna has been an extraordinary influence on the city in the time that she's been here and an extraordinary influence on me, too. It's no secret that when we brought Gianna on, the organization was not just going through transition, it was going through a bit of turmoil. Uh, there was a CEO transition, there was new shareholder requirements, there was new concerns from the shareholder on the organization, and Gianna walked into extraordinarily turbulent waters. And what she was able to do is nothing short of extraordinary. A cultural shift in an organization, a refocusing on mission and vision, ex outstanding financial results, year after year after year, leading to her being named the best electrical utility CEO in the country. Uh, and that is something that is incredibly well deserved. And in all of that, Gianna found time with her husband and her sons, Connor and Cooper, to become a real part of the Calgary community, including chairing the United Way campaign and doing extraordinary things within the community here in her adopted home. So Gianna, I know the thing you're going to miss the most about Calgary is the weather as you move back uh, to the U.S. South. And I apologize for all the heat and humidity uh, that you're going back to. But I know, as always, when you have the ability to do anything in the world, your choice was to put family first. And that, too, says a lot about the kind of person you are. So I wanted to be giving a big speech about Gianna and seeing if I could make her cry, which is impossible because she's a tough cookie, um, at a great event celebrating her accomplishments. Now we're going to have to do it uh, virtually through Zoom. But Gianna, I just want you to know personally, on behalf of my city council and on behalf of the citizens of Calgary, we owe you a debt of gratitude. Calgary is so much better for you having chosen to spend part of your life with us here. So thank you for everything. And I will turn it back to Greg. Thank you, Mayor Nancy. I couldn't uh, express any better thoughts really about Gianna. Our commitment actually is that we're going to ensure that Gianna has an opportunity to meet with uh, yourselves and everybody else when we can get over this COVID-19 issue, whether it's before or after tenure. But really appreciate the, the thoughts and support that we've had with, uh, for Gianna over this year. We'll now turn to three items of shareholder business. Uh, the first item is the receipt of NMAX's 2019 audited financial statements and a financial report by our shareholder. The statements were audited by Deloitte LLP and approved by NMAX board in March 2020. The second item is the election of directors. Provided uh, the proposed resolution is passed, the board comprised of 11 members will, go, will govern with a view to serve our shareholder and citizens of Calgary. Wayne O'Connor, effective June 22nd. William Taylor and Bruce Williamson are also included in our board slate. The slate of directors up for election today include myself, Greg Melchin, Gianna Manis, if re-elected. Re Gianna will stand as a director until her departure on July 31st, 2020. Wayne O'Connor, if elected, will join the board of directors effective June 22nd, 2020. <clears throat> Laura Formusa, Eric Markell, Elise Reese, Charles Rugrock, Kathleen Sendel, Richard Shaw, William Taylor, and Bruce Williamson. The 
Final order of business is the appointment of the external auditor. The NMAX Audit Committee and Board are recommending the appointment of the Deloitte LLP as auditors for NMAX Corporation. The Board is asking for authorization to fix the remuneration of Deloitte for audit work associated with the 2020 fiscal year. The resolutions are as follows. First, Resolved that the shareholder of NMAX Corporation received the 2019 annual audited financial statements and financial report for information. Second, resolved that the shareholder of NMAX Corporation approves effective immediately the election of the Board of Directors to hold office until the next annual meeting of the corporation. And lastly, resolved that the shareholder of NMAX Corporation approve the appointment of Deloitte LLP as auditors for NMAX Corporation for the 2020 fiscal year end and authorize the Board of Directors to fix the remuneration of Deloitte LLP for auto work associated with the 2020 fiscal year. Now, Mayor Nancy will conduct the official vote for each matter of business reviewed with you today. You will call upon each member of council to provide their vote on each matter. After all votes of council are in, Mayor Nancy will cast the final vote on all three resolutions. Mayor Nancy. Thanks very much, uh, Mr. Chair. So council, I'm going to call each of your names uh, and you can say yes to all. Uh, if you are would like to vote no or abstain on any one of the three resolutions, just tell me which one of those three resolutions uh, that you are voting no on. Um, and uh, I'll just, uh, I know we've had some trouble with people falling off the call technically, so I'll just call everyone's names uh, as we go through this. So first of all, Councillor Sutherland. Councillor Maglioka. Now make sure to unmute your mics uh, as we are doing this and I'll just remind people the three resolutions are first resolve that the shareholder of NMAX Corporation receive the financial statements and report for information. Second that we approve the board of directors and third that we approve the appointment of Deloitte as the auditor. So with that, Councillor Maglioka. People seem to be having trouble with the audio. We'll make it through. Councillor Gondek. A note for those who have dialed in over the phone, you will need to press star six in order to unmute. Thank you. Ah, that was helpful. <laughs> let's try let's try that again. So uh, we'll go back to Councillor Maglioka, please. Your, your Worship, agree to all. Thank you. Councillor Gondek, please. Yes, sorry, I'm having glitches with my mute. So yes to all. Thank you. Councillor Chu. I'll come back to you, Councillor Chu. Councillor Chaho. Yes to all. Thank you. Councillor Davison. I'll come back to you as well, Councillor Farrell. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yes. OK, thank you. I do have a question before I vote. On the new appointments for the Board of Direction Directors, is there anyone that's specifically skilled on on uh, renewable energy? Um, I would say that there's actually a number of our directors have experience in renewable energy. Our outgoing CEO, our incoming CEO has quite a bit of experience on it. Uh, our two new directors have been very deeply involved in industry, both uh, renewable as well as uh, other forms of energy. Um, let me go about down the list. Um, the corporation has actually done quite a bit itself, so we've all been involved with uh, more more uh, solar power installation than any other organization in Alberta. Um, I know um, Laura Formusa as well in her roles. Eric Markell has had a substantial background with a variety of forms of energy of. Uh, uh, renewable as well as traditional energy sources. Um, okay. 
Um, thank you for that. Will I have an opportunity to ask some questions about about that specifically after we voted on this? Yes. More general questions. All right. Thank you. Yes, yes we'll I see. a session after the CEO presentation. OK, thank you. I support. Thank you. Councillor Woolley, please. Yep. Thank you. I think Councillor Carra is not with us. Councillor Jones, I'm not sure you're with us. Councillor Farkas, please. Uh, thank you, Your Worship. Yes to the financial statements and financial report. Yes to the appointment of external auditor. And if I may, I abstain on the election of the Board of Directors candidate. My preference would be just to have heard from them uh, before the uh, vote would occur. Thank you. Thank you. Councillor Keating, please. Councillor Collier Cart. I know that Councillor Collier Cart has indicated that she is voting yes to all, uh, though she's having some trouble getting through. Um, and I don't believe Councillor DeMong is with us. Are you there, Peter? Okay, I'm going to go back to Councillor Chu. Sean Chu here. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, yes to all three. Thank you. Thank you. I think I got everyone. Uh, hopefully, Danielle, you caught that and you can report back on those now. Yes, hi. So for resolution one, um, we have eight in favor of resolution one. Uh, for two, resolution two, we have seven in, in favor of resolution two and eight in favor of resolution three. Thank you. So based on the results of those preliminary votes, uh, I will cast the shareholder vote in favor of all three resolutions. Thank you. Thank you, um, Aaron Enchi. And I want to thank members of council uh, as well for their continue to support. We look forward to ongoing uh, dialogue and working with council to ensure that we can deliver precisely on the wishes of Calgarians and Council in the delivery of the services of NMAX. I'd like to now terminate the shareholder portion of our meeting and move to our business update. On behalf of NMAX, I do want to thank Council again for with us today, uh, despite even the technology glitches that we've had to work through. I uh, welcome our President and CEO Gianna Manis to provide a report on NMAX. Following uh, her remarks, I just remind everybody there will be a time for a short Q&A. Uh, any questions can be submitted to the Q&A functionality to the right of your viewing screen. And if, if you've had problems from there, we, we could probably accommodate council coming in through the audio as well. Gianna. Thank you and hello everyone. I'm pleased to give a brief overview of our performance and on our continued focus on delivering safe, responsible, reliable service to our customers and creating value for our shareholders. Today we face a unique and challenging time as a company, as a city, and as a global community. As an essential services organization, the continued provision of safe, reliable electricity remains paramount to NMAX as we adapt and respond to the COVID-19 pandemic. NMAX is a diverse electricity and energy services company operating across all areas of the electricity value chain. We deliver electricity to Calgarians through our transmission and distribution system in Calgary, and we supply Albertans with electricity through our generation facilities. We also offer a range of innovative energy solutions involving electricity, gas, and engineering services to more than 670,000 customers across the province of Alberta. And since March of this year, with the close of our acquisition of Amira Maine, since renamed Versant Power, NMAX now delivers reliable electricity to approximately 150,000 customers in northern and eastern Maine. The addition of Versant Power has advanced our goal of growing our value through increasing the proportion of our earnings from utility operations. It builds on our strengths of operational and customer service expertise and will provide higher, more stable earnings and dividends to Calgary by creating a lower risk geographically diverse earnings stream. 
Now, taking a look back for a moment to 2019, NMAX delivered strong operational and financial performance in 2019, and that performance has continued into the first quarter of this year. The team also continued our history of responsibly serving our communities, from raising a record contribution for the United Way, to growing our solar business by 104%, to saving 500 million liters of water at Shepherd Energy Center through the use of innovative technology. These are just a few of the highlights you'll find in our 2019 infographic and sustainability report that's now available on nmax.com. In line with our reported comparable net earnings for 2019 of $160.6 million, NMAX declared a $48 million dividend. In response to the unprecedented times in Calgary and to extend our support to all Calgarians, the board declared an additional $6 million special dividend, a total of $54 million in dividends. Both are now being paid to the City of Calgary in 2020 and represent a total increase in dividends of 8% over the prior year. We invested $305 million in Calgary's electricity system in 2019 and continue to deliver industry-leading system reliability, generation availability, and safety performance. We achieved an 86% customer satisfaction rating in 2019 and continue to see even higher and record high satisfaction numbers in 2020. To support our customers affected by COVID-19 pandemic, we were the first Alberta electricity company to implement a COVID-19 customer and community response program to provide customers with flexible payment options and support during these most difficult times. That program remains in effect now supported by Alberta legislation. NMAX is taking steps to address the unique and challenging environment around us today. We have implemented extensive programs and actions to ensure the health and safety of our team so that we can continue to provide reliable and essential service to our customers. And while we are working differently during these times, our operations have remained unaffected by these challenges. We do, however, anticipate lower revenues in 2020 as a result of the severe economic challenges affecting Alberta. This information is reflected in our Q1 2020 financial report that was issued this morning. In response, we have already taken many actions, including implementing a salary freeze for our executive and management professionals, a hiring freeze across NMAX, and reducing our spend where it is prudent to do so and without jeopardizing service or reliability. NMAX is a strong company as is necessary for us to provide the critical service and value for our customers and for our shareholders, that which you expect and you deserve. We will continue to make the changes necessary to ensure our health today and our growth for the future. I want to recognize the contributions of the NMAX team and say a special thank you to our customers. NMAX continues to work hard every day to provide you the services that you rely on to power your lives. As announced last year and, have, and has already been mentioned, I will soon be leaving NMAX after more than eight years at the helm. It has been a privilege leaving in, leading NMAX's team of outstanding, dedicated, solution and service oriented people. Thank you for your continued dedication and teamwork. Every day, you exemplify the NMAX values, and it has been an honor to work alongside you. I'm very proud of the many achievements we have made together. I want to also extend my gratitude to the Board of Directors and City Council and to all Calgarians. It has truly been a privilege to be associated with you and to be part of such an amazing and caring community. And soon it will be time for me to pass the company reins to NMAX's incoming president and CEO, Wayne O'Connor. Wayne, you are taking on the leadership of an incredible team and organization, and I look forward to working with you to support a smooth transition. To all of you here with us today, stay well, stay safe, and thank you for taking the time to join us. Thank you, Gianna. Um, just as you hear from her, you just will recognize how much we'll miss you, but I really appreciate the leadership that you continue to provide to NMAX. I'd like to open it now for a Q&A session. Um, I think
think Diana's going to take the lead on this as far as uh, responding to the questions, providing them to us. Yes, good morning, everybody. We haven't received any questions online quite yet. I know members of council had indicated they may have some. We may wish to open up for verbal, verbal questions at this point. Okay, I think Councillor Farrell, you had a question, so maybe we'll let you start. Okay, thank you. I was busy trying to type, but I'm I'm a faster <laughs> talker than I am a typer. I um, Not surprising, I'm going to be asking about renewable energy and is there a plan for NMAX to go net zero? We're hearing a lot of talk um, internationally about net zero. Cities are trying to go net zero. Is there a plan in the works for NMAX? Uh, well, how can the city help you with that? Well, I'll, I'll start and then, of course, um, if Greg has anything to add, we'll certainly welcome any other comment, comments that are, are made here. So um, first of all, thank you for your question and for the continued attention on this. Uh, we have, NMAX has a proud history of really supporting um, our communities, but also through uh, environmental actions as well. As you know, uh, I think back to when I joined eight years ago, NMAX was predominantly fueled by coal, and today we have 86% of our generation is natural gas and the rest is wind, and we are the largest, continue to be, the largest provider of solar panels in Alberta. So more specifically to your question around um, net zero goals, at this point in time, we haven't established a specific goal with regard to a net zero objective. However, I can tell you we're doing a thorough review and focusing on all of our um, both environmental community um, activities and we'll look for opportunities to advance, uh, really advance all of these areas where we can. As you know, last year we implemented an elect, uh, electric vehicle pilot. It's been, um, quite, people had a lot of interest in Calgary and we're continuing to um, move forward on those type of things. So our goal is to enable a clean energy future and we need to invest in our grid in Calgary and elsewhere to be able to advance uh, application of distributed generation, uh, electrification of fleet, and we have all of these as strategic priorities. What I would say as to any specific goal is we remain really open to um, both the input from Calgarians, input from our customers, both in Calgary, Alberta, and also in Maine, and also from council as you formal, formulate um, your objectives and goals and Max wants to make sure that we will uh, continue to be aligned with that. So has NMAX set any particular emissions targets that you hope to achieve? We, we actually the, had set emissions targets many years ago and we have surpassed those with the transition of our generation fleet. And so we are in the process of reviewing those this year and we'll be looking, well, obviously it will be uh, the future CEO to do, but I know that with the board, uh, we'll be looking at establishing uh, new targets to the future, but no specific timeline on the establishment of that at this time. But it's certainly on our radar, I can assure you that. All right, thank you. And then uh, this uh, Green Line Committee will be making a decision on June 1st around the route of the Green Line that will then go to Council. Is, is NMAX ready to provide renewable energy for, if it's not ride the wind, it could be ride the sun, um, I'm not sure. But it, certainly green energy was part of the selling feature of the Green Line. So is NMAX ready? Well, absolutely. NMAX, uh, the city of Calgary is NMAX's largest customer, and one of our largest customers. And so uh, we continue to work um, actually ongoing with the administration and the various departments in the city as, as to your total energy needs. And so we stand ready to work with you to adjust those as we go forward. Um, as your needs continue to go forward with the advancements of Green Line, but also the things that are happening to in the city of Calgary today. Okay, those are all my questions. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Farrell. Any other questions? Diana, any from the public that you've seen? Holly Urquhart, if you can hear me, there's two questions in the chat box that we were asked to submit.
Thank you, Diane. So there's two questions here. Um, I will call out the first one. I think we just covered the first one with respect to uh, net zero renewable energy and the plan. The second one, what specific executive and or director? Uh, no, the first one wasn't covered. It's with regard to the U.S. acquisition and where they're at with renewable energy and what the plan is. Oh, thank you, Diane. Thank you. Thank you for clarifying that. So the first question is, where is your new acquisition at with the net zero renewable energy and what is the plan? So um, the acquisition in Maine, uh, Versant Power in Maine, is much like our uh, transmission and distribution organization in Calgary. It does not, it is strictly a wires business. It, it delivers the electricity in northern and eastern Maine. And as a result, it does not have any generation supply, but it does deliver. Much like what I mentioned here, we believe that a big part of our mission as NMAX and Versant Power in Maine is to enable a healthy, robust electricity infrastructure in the future, and that includes uh, clean the delivery of clean electricity, the access to distributed energy and additional renewables. I can tell you that in Maine, there's a lot of emphasis today on uh, net zero and increasingly clean electricity, and the role of Versant Power is prepared to be able to enable that by connecting all of these things onto the system, both at our customer premises and also um, additional wind generation, for example, that we expect to come online. So we're fully supportive of that and we'll make the appropriate investments in order to ensure a reliable distribution system of that type of power. Thank you. Our next question, what specific executive and or director additional compensation or performance bonuses were received as a result of the U.S. acquisition? I might, uh, I'm trying to remember the number on the executive. There were some uh, awards to a few of the executive members. It was in the nature of total about three, four hundred thousand dollars in total. Uh, amongst the executive team as a result of a very significant transaction, tremendous amount of work and an excellent outcome. Uh, directors are not compensated by performance, uh, so there are no performance kind of questions for directors. They are compensated by retainers and meeting fees. And so there was some additional work clearly with respect to Amera Main uh, acquisition and would have been in compensation for uh, director fees, but, but no performance with respect to uh, director compensation. Thank you. Our next question is, when will presentations be made to the City of Calgary Audit Committee? I do believe that is scheduled for June 11th, and I'm not sure if Gianna or Greg have anything to add to that. No, I know we're, we're prepared to be there the next Audit Committee meeting and as for any of the Audit Committees and present. Uh, Okay, our next question is of the 455 million debt incurred by NMAX for the Amira purchase, what amount was borrowed in the city's name? I'll take that question. The answer is zero. NMAX went to the private, we, we financed about 15% of the acquisition through our cash from operations. And then we went to the capital debt markets uh, outside of any relationship with the city and secured the remainder of the funds so no Calgarian dollars went to the purchase of uh, uh, Amir Main, or Versant Power, our main business. Thank you. Our next question is also for Gianna. For Gianna, will the acquisition of Amir Main result in greater dividends for the city of Calgary, or will the returns from the U.S. be used solely to pay down debt? The acquisition of Versant Power in Maine was a direct result of our focus on growing the regulated portion of our, well, growing our utility business. And we made that a strategic objective a number of years ago. Uh, as NMAX grows, the value of NMAX grows and Calgarians benefit from that. And it is our expectation that uh, the value and the additional profits and earnings that we get from the Versant Power organization will, once we get through the 
this is a par partial year this year, but we'll absolutely uh, increase the dividend. That was really our stated objective was to be able to grow, uh, to provide a steady, stable, predictable and growing dividend for the city of Calgary. And the Verse and Power acquisition is one example of what we're doing in order to further that objective. Thank you. The next question, were any fees or commissions paid for the purchase of Amira Main? I'm not quite exactly sure what's meant by the question, but I'm assuming in terms of um, we I'm going to make the assumption we as part of the acquisition, we did uh, utilize the expertise of a variety of external uh, experts, uh, particularly in the banking industry, as you would. This was an important transaction and like all companies that do this type of thing, we we don't have that type of expertise in house, nor should we. And uh, we did have <clears throat> um, banks that worked with us and they received compensation for their efforts as part of the transaction. Thank you. And just one last question, and I think we're, we're coming up to time. I think I hear something, Diana. Who the question is from? I'm sorry, Diane, could you repeat that? It's important when the questions are being read out that it is indicated who is asking the questions from, uh, from the shareholder. I do apologize that for Diane. Unfortunately, on the system, it's showing up as anonymous, so I'm not able to identify it to a name, but I know we're trying to be very thorough by getting through all the questions that are there, so I do apologize for not being able to subscribe the name. Okay, so my colleagues, I think you should add your name then after uh, you ask the question. Thank you. Thank you. So we have time for just a few more questions. We are getting close to time. Uh, next question, how much additional investment that you referred to will be injected into the U.S. acquisition for net zero renewable energy? So the company in Maine, uh, the, the company in Maine um, will not own or operate generation assets. It will strictly own and operate the electricity wires to deliver that electricity. And so our investment will be strictly to ensure that the grid and the network that we uh, serve and we own will be able to be a reliable system. So we will not be investing in any generation um, because that company and by law in Maine, they have a they have a market similar to Alberta, but by law in um, Maine, if you own the wires businesses and the transmission and distribution, and you, if you have those utilities, you are not allowed to also have generation. So our business will strictly be the investment of the utility of the delivery of such energy. And so as a result, we have no plans to invest in renewable energy specifically, but we'll be there to support the customers who do. Thank you and time for one last question. Was there any operating challenges with the integration of Versant Power? I've noticed news articles that storms bring threat of power outages in Maine in early April. Well, and first of all, thank you for all the questions. These have been excellent questions today. I can tell you that as a result of extensive planning on by behalf of the NMAX team, as well as the team in Maine, the transition to new ownership and our ownership that took place in March and the continued transition of those activities has gone off seamlessly. Uh, we've had no operational impacts on either side. Of course not. We want to make sure that stays a high priority. Both companies are enjoying a very strong safety record this year as well. We've all adjusted to the new realities of the COVID pandemic. Um, and yes, there were a couple of storms that occurred shortly after uh, we took ownership and the team in Maine, as they always do, stepped forward and handled those outages quite well. So operations on either side, both in Maine and in Calgary, have gone absolutely well and uh, the transition has gone very smoothly without any issues because it was good strong planning that set all that up and I, I will say that this acquisition makes us stronger uh, it makes us more resilient as a company and we both both of our companies 
in Maine and Calgary really share those values. So NMAX would not have done this if we didn't think this was something that we could do well, and we're fully committed to making sure we do that in our operations, both here in Alberta and also in Maine. Thank you very much. And with that, over to Greg. Thank you, Diana and Gianna. Um, and I want to thank everybody who submitted a question. If you didn't get a chance, uh, please feel free to reach out to us at board of directors at nmax.com, board of directors at nmax.com, or contact uh, certainly through any counselors. Uh, delighted to get back to you in, as you ask. Uh, I want to thank you again for joining us. We look forward to seeing you next year, hopefully in a non-COVID kind of an environment that we could do this in person. And to the members of the media who are now welcome to call in a conference line provided in advance of today's meeting. Mayor Nenshi, Gianna and myself will be on the line to answer any media questions. Thank you again. Stay safe and take care. Thank you everyone. Thank you. Thank you for attending today's annual shareholder meeting. A recording of today's event will be shared on nmax.com.